First thing you want to pay attention to with these easy but shifty crossover combos is how the actual crossover is different in just about every one of them. So, are you ready to remix the crossover? Let's jump into it. For the first move, you're going to cross over into a sidestep. Big key is that you cover some ground. You can do this from moving forward or from a standstill. From there, you're simply going to come from a more upright stance and then quickly drop down Palm the basketball between your legs and attack hard. That simple sidestep setup will get your defender shifting out of the way so you can come from that between the legs and attack directly to the basket. So what it'll amount to is a 90 degree angle change. On the crossover, you're gonna move to the side and then on the between the legs and attack, you're gonna move directly forward. Before we get into the next move, if you want a way to take them all next level, grab the free hybrid ball handling workout that I have for you at gethandles.com. I'll also have a link for that pinned to the top comment so you don't even have to type it in. Next move, we're gonna go from a push cross crossover forward so you want to really think about trying to cover some ground to make it look to your defender like you're going to attack hard. From there you're going to go into a stiff leg between the legs. So whichever hand is catching that first crossover you want to step with the opposite foot in that direction and then pull the ball back between your legs in the exact opposite direction you just came from. So you move at a little bit tighter than a 45 degree angle forward and then you want to pull the ball back the exact opposite way. From there you almost always create a ton of space possibly break some ankles and you'll be able to get a shot off or drive left or right. Next move is going to have a very similar effect to the last one. Again, you're going to start with that push crossover forward and then from there instead you're going to go a snatch back reverse between the legs. For this one, whichever hand is catching that first crossover, the same side foot you're going to step forward with. Now the reason you'd want to have this as a variation is because that keeps the basketball a little bit more behind your body before you go into that second crossover to pull the ball back which will keep it more protected and makes it harder for defenders to steal. This is great for when you're tighter to your defender or you just got a defender that really likes to poke at the basketball. From there, your options are going to be pretty much the same as the last one. Next move is a quick, tight drop crossover into a spin move. Big key you want to pay attention to is after you cross over, whichever hand is catching the basketball, you want to step with the opposite foot into the direction of the hand that has the basketball to sort of step into the spin move. From there, you'll want to pull the ball back really quickly and the same side foot as the hand that's doing that spin move you want to pivot back with. This one's great for when you're close to your defender so you can get past them and you can use that first crossover to kind of close the gap on your defender and make them think you're going to go one way and then when you're nice and tight to them boom you can spin off of them and go the other way. Next combo is all about rhythm and timing. You're going to hit them with a quick tight low crossover and then catch it down low with the other hand and immediately push it into a push crossover so you can start covering ground. So what that first crossover amounts to is a really quick fake to get your defender shifting one way and the same time that they start moving that way you can already start exploding to the basket the other way quick simple and deadly so what do you do if the defender is too close for you to get that second push crossover off well that's where this next combo comes into play you're gonna go from that quick tight crossover and immediately go into a wrap behind the back that'll give you the room to get the crossover off and keep the ball protected so if a defender is playing you tight you can make them pay because you'll easily be able to get past the defender playing you that close this one works well if you start more upright and then drop down into that first crossover so you can start moving towards the basket quickly. Next move we're going to start with the time tested Iverson cross. A little bit of a hesitation, step out hard, extend the basketball and lean your hips and your chest into it and then cross the basketball over hard. From there you want to shuffle your feet a little bit to the side to make it seem like you're going to try to blow by your defender or go into a sidestep jump shot but instead you're going to catch them with something unexpected by going into a step back but from there you're going to do something even more unexpected. You're you're going to hesitate to let them think that you're going to shoot, let them close the gap, and then blow by them. So you're hitting them with three unexpected things in a row. From that Iverson cross, you're going to hit them with that sidestep into a step back, and then from there, hezzy and blow by them. The more you can cover ground with all these movements, the more effective it'll be. Next move is perfect for defenders that like to cut you off and play aggressive with you. So for this one, you're going to start with a crossover and shuffle to the side. And from there, you're going to go into a behind the back. So right as that defender tries to get physical with you and cut you off, boom, go right in that behind the back. You'll have room to get the crossover off and have the ball protected. From that first crossover and side shuffle, you can either do a little hezzy to make the defender think that you might shoot 
or you can just really attack to the side hard to make the defender think you're going to try to go past them and from there the behind the back will remain the same for both i love this next one as a counter to the last one you're going to go from a crossover and side shuffle and then go into two really quick low crossovers and that change of rhythm is big with all your momentum coming into that first side shuffle that's really going to make the defender think that you're either going to go that way or crossover and come back the other way but when you add that third crossover and at the end that's going to catch them off guard if you want to make this move work even better in fact all the moves in this video click the playlist that's popping up on the screen and binge watch all of those you can add any of those moves as counter moves and setups for these subscribe and turn on all notifications to catch the newest videos